And we're back with some more F-Zero Madness for the SNESI. We last uh, finished off the Night League uh, bullshit. Then we're gonna do the Queen League on the Master. And that's how it is. And all of the leagues, they begin with uh, the Mute City stage, but in different variation. And different colors. So yeah, welcome to this. We're gonna do the Queen League, and we're off. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the last part. And, uh... <laughs> what else am I going to say? Come up with some commentary, cringe. You need to entertain the people, and they will... Oh, he gave me a boost. Oh, nice. So this uh, stage, or variation, features uh, a ramp right there, and there, and a circle, and different colors. So it's kind of lazy. I mean, uh, F-Zero X had many, I mean, three new city stages, but they were all extremely different. I was like, what the fuck? But it's okay. We'll get to hear more of this music. Now, I've never played any F-Zero games on um, the Game Boy Advance. And I think there's like two of them, maybe? And I've heard they should be really good. I like this game, but better and uh, they're handheld. Now, um, two things I forgot to mention in the last uh, series is that um, not only are we playing this on the real console and not the emulator, but we're actually playing this on uh, an old CRT TV. So we're doing this the exact same way you did it uh, before. You know, those big old fat TVs and, uh, you know, play the SNES on that. It's the good old way. And it still works fantastic. I love it. I actually prefer playing um, old games like this on the TV. Because um, CRT TVs, they have next to no lag whatsoever. Uh, you know, you press a button and it happens right away. You play Guitar Hero or rhythm games on this and uh, it responds right away. But when I moved, uh, shit, when I started playing Guitar Hero on uh, shit, uh, on uh, HD TV, when they came out, it was so fucking bad. It was like a very unusual lag. I mean, if new players who start with HD, they will never, you know, feel that same difference as I did. But I played on CRT TVs a lot. I played Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero 3 a lot on CRT. And then just HD t TV made it impossible for me to play good. I just couldn't do it. So yeah, that's uh, nice about these games. But it feels like uh, the newer TVs, they don't have so much lag. I mean, I'm playing... Oh, that's uh, the finish. Then, I mean, I'm playing Wii U on an HD TV over at Nana's place. It's not a very new model, but it's, you know, it's okay. It's HD and all that fuck. Port Town, yeah! And it doesn't have much lag. I'm playing uh, like Mario Kart 8 or Smash Brothers, and it's perfectly fine. Not so much lag. It seems like uh, the first HD TVs featured a lot of lags, but now the new HD TVs are more concerned about lag. I don't know. But yeah, this is the stage that's in the title screen, and if you let it play for a little a while, uh, then Captain Falcon will take over and just drive a little bit, and that's funny. But he will drive the full stage, you see? He go left here, and continues off. But we have uh, the small stage, and that's how it is. Now, I think it's really fun that people still are playing this game. There is this guy on YouTube that I'm following called Edward something F0, I'm not really sure, but I think he is named Edward. And he has most of the world records of this game, if not all of them, I'm not really sure on that. But, oh, fuck it. BOOST! <laughs> and he's so fucking good at this game, it's so insane. And he's still taking world records, I mean, even to this day. And this game is, like, 25 years old or something? It's from 90... 1990. And it's... It, even today, there are coming new world records. And holy fuck, man. I think it's so insane. And it same goes for F-Zero GX. Uh, there's this guy called uh, Crazy Game Nerd, and uh, who is basically... Shit. 
the best f Zero GX player today, in my opinion. And he has even seen some of my uh, world records uh, from before, from like 2006. My big blue world record and my... Uh, what was it? Meteor... Station map. Of course I had a world record on that. And my brother had a world record on the very first stage, the Mute City Twist Ropes. So he had a world record on that, that's so insane. And I still have the videos of it. The rap shit on uh, my crap channel. I think. I'm not really sure. And speaking of channel, my uh, first Crimson AE channel, which got uh, suspended at, uh, let's see, was it um, 2009, I believe? 2010 or something? It got suspended. And now it has lifted. So my crim old Crimson AE channel is uh, back. And it's functional, but I can't remember my login information at all. So it's there, but I can't log on and make a video saying, Hey, the channel is back. Go to my new one. Oh, Red Canyon! Fuck it! Now, I actually should try to do the other start where you just hold down the start, I mean, the acceleration button all the time. And you like, you shoot forward very fast. And then you can just place yourself... Uh, before them, in front of them, I mean, and you get their boost. So that's a faster way. Just listen to the music in the stage. It's fucking good. And this game has started so much. I mean, Mute City, Big Blue, Red Canyon, Firefield, Whiteland, all of these stages, classic shits, and they're still in the series, and. Uh, they're used for other Nintendo games like Smash Brothers and uh, Mario Kart 8 and so on. It's so fun! Oh shit! You can actually die from that pretty easily if they knock you out. It's so fast! I think it's kind of cheating that I'm playing on the Paul version because it's, you know, it's slower. And thereby I have more time to think and all that. But, um, hey, what can I do? This is the way. I mean, I was born in Europe, so I can't really help it. But still, it doesn't really feel slow. I mean, some games, they weren't optimized for uh, Paul. So they were, they were just basically slower. They were like 20% slower or something like that than um, NTSC, which is the original. Um... Yeah, but some games are optimized, and I like that. For instance, um, Silent Hill 2, for the PlayStation 2, it's optimized. So it runs at the same speed, not just the same frame rate. And uh, for that game, it's uh, it's okay, because it's such a, such a cinematic game that you get a more movie feeling when it's uh, 25 FPS. Because movies are about 25. Well, actually, they are in uh, 23.926 frames per second. So that's what movies are in. Oh shit, I used to boost. No worries, though, I can do this! You see that platform? Oh shit, that platform uh, pulls you down, which is very good there. Man, I can never get sick of this music. I'm so happy that uh, this song right here, the original, is in Super Smash Bros. Wii U. You can hear it, the original track. They may have, you know, optimized it a little bit. Better quality and stereo. Stuff like that. Well, this is uh, stereo as well. Super Nintendo is stereo. Whiteland! It's so fucking good! Oh, the music is so nice here. They made a very good remix for the Brawl. The Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It's so good, I still listen to it. And this stage features a lot of ramps here with uh, things that pulls you down. And... No! Did I kill him? I <laughs> should have, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they can't die. So that's a big bummer. Man, this stage is so white. I hope my capture card can capture this uh, okay, because um, my capture card isn't extremely good with. Uh, yeah, with brightness and darkness. It, ne it needs to be in the middle, you know? It's not too bright, it's not too dark, then the capture card is okay. 
But in stages like this, it's pretty much bleh. It's fly over all the shits. You don't do that, man. It kind of helps me. Yeah, it did. I came before him and, uh, I mean, I came in front of him. And he boosted me. You'd think that if you run into them in high speed, then they will get boost and you'll drive away from you. But they don't. They, like, go into the walls and, like, get out of control. It's like, what the fuck is happening? And then you can just go past them. So that's, uh, actually nice. So boost here. It's like this rap. Go down and then booyah. Right there. Yes, be careful you don't fly out and die. You see there, um top speed I kept it just 20 below the max and the max is 478 so by doing that trick you can really keep your speed better and I didn't know that for the longest time I think it was Edward that guy was talking about who showed me that and the sound glitched there, there it is the boost sound uh, disappeared And yeah, later on in the future, I'm gonna make um, commentary on F-Series X and F-Series GX. And F-Series GX has uh, a very nice uh, story mode. So that works, uh, you know, better for the commentary. This is more like a let's mess around. Nah, I don't really know what kind of series this is. It's basically just a commentary series. I mean, I'm playing this game, having fun, and that's how it is. Oh, we're below 400, that's not good. They're gonna... Wait, this is the final lap. Oh, I think I will get... Yes, I will. Woohoo! How oh, nice. Now we only have one more stage. Can you guess which one it is? I will give you a hint. It's very similar to this one. It's White Land 2. I think that's pretty... weak. I wish they'd begun with uh, White Land 1 at the beginning of the league and then have White Land 2 at the end. It would be much better in my opinion. So in that way you don't begin with uh, Mute City, you know, again. And you have a different stage. And this stage uh, is an extension of the last one. No, it's not an extension. It's uh, a different part of the world, if I could say it like that. Take shortcuts. Yeah, Fire Stingray has a lot of defense, so you... you you don't take a lot of damage from the sides. He has a lot of health. Here's the biggest jump in the game. It's so difficult, yeah, yeah. You see, there, to the left, that's uh, the other stage we just played. So I think that's fun. It's the same place, but on a different uh, track. It's still the same land, you know. You get that feeling that you're in the white land, but this is the second course in the white land. Oh, it's not good to have so much uh, speed here. You gotta time these um, shortcuts so you don't do that. And my god, that's a good. Boost it! You see, that's uh, so good with the uh, Fire Stingray. I mean, he, he has a lot of a low acceleration, but with the boosts, you get up there right away. It's so shady that they can drive on that, um, you know, the off course area to the left and right. But if you go there, if you just touch what's beyond the black uh, line, you die instantly, but they just take it as normal damage, like these uh, side damage. You see, I'm gonna try to just break a little bit here. Like that, and then speed up there. That's the way. I might not get the stage in the first try. Maybe. Because you see, that's uh, pretty dangerous, and if you get uh, an uh, Ola, you know, that um, suicide guy, he can really fuck you up. And you need to get health every single lap. And you don't get much because you drive so fast. So two more laps. I think we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try to keep my boost, actually. For the last uh, lap. Okay, so do that. Nice. Don't touch that guy. Please, God, don't touch him. There. We saved the boost and we're still in first place. It's so weird that these guys are all in the same color. I mean, how would you, you know, tell them apart? And who is in front of the other? Are they like casual drivers who is just on the stage? Or they, sh they are racers, I know that. 
But it doesn't seem like that because they're all the same, like a typical car, and they don't really care so much. Fuck, this is not good. Okay, save your boosts. Oh yeah, it's the limit three. Okay, I just want to, I just want to beat this shit. Okay, so boost here. Just keep yourself above three. Okay, we're gonna beat this. I got this, man. Trust my ball sack. I know where it came from. And boom! We have come in first place every single lap. You see, now, now we can bounce into him, but not to during the course. So that's the Queen League! Woohoo! Oh my goodness. I'm looking at my capture card right now. And I see that it's very, very white. It's screaming white. And it's not supposed to do that. But I hope it's okay for you. At least you can, you know, see the gameplay and all that. And speaking of capture, we have been recording for uh, 54,000 frames. And we haven't uh, lost a single one, I think. Oh yes, we have! We have uh, dropped 7 frames. And we have inserted 34 null frames. Alright. <laughs> But I think it was when we began the capture, not uh, during it. Maybe. I, to I hope it turns out alright. You, you can never know that when you record this. I I'm just talking like everything is fine, but maybe the recording will turn out shit and there is nothing you can do about it. Sometimes. And we get uh, this screen again. The race is over, boy! Stop playing this game! It's so cool to see it in overhead. You can only do it when you beat Master. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Hey, goodbye. Look at that guy. What a weakness. From Captain Falcon and the F Zero crew. Alright. Man, this guy sucks. All right. So that's the uh, Queen League. And then next and final episode, we're gonna do the King League. And it's going to be so fucking hard. And I think I'm gonna do it on experts, as I said in the, the Night League video. So we're gonna do King League in experts because it's extremely hard. And I will see you then, good folks. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Please leave a comment and feedback. I read all of them, and I would love you for doing that. Getting comments is so wonderful. Yeah, I will see you next time, good folks.